Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the GE Tech A10M printer. Friends, somebody asked about mixing once you install Bug Fix. I got a few minutes, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So you can see here, I have already heated this, and that's because I found the settings don't stick if I do it before they're both heated. So we're going to start a print called My Happy Crab. If you scroll all the way down, this is where you get to the print from media. If you haven't seen all these bonuses, uh, if you've got a long one, it scrolls across. That's one of the cool things that Marlin has in it. So this is my HL Happy Crab. Uh, when I start it, I'm going to rotate and choose print. And then now that it's moving, it's all heated and the numbers are locked in place. I'm going to click to go back into the menu and I'm going to go down to mixing. Now I want to do a gradient mix. So I'm going to go down to gradient T0, T1. So I'm just doing a stock one. And I know that this little guy is 8 millimeters thick. So I'm going to have it start changing at a Z of 1.5. And then I'm going to have it stop at a Z of 6.5. And this is going to put a gradient in the middle. Now, it's kind of silly because I know that this yellow and green looks ugly. Uh, but for the video, uh, it does kind of make it make sense. I'm going to stop at 6.4 because I think I have it at 7.99. So now when I go back to the main screen, on info, you'll see right now, it says that it is 100% zero. Uh, halfway through this project, or at the one millimeter mark, you'll see it start switching and doing the mix in the middle. And then at the end, it'll be all the way over to zero, 100%. That's how easy it is to set up a mix using the Bug Fix Marlin on a GE Tech A10L. Alrighty friends, and right here you can see that the gradient is at 70, 31. So it does it all automatically. How slick is that? Alrighty friends, so there it is, the HL Mod Tech Happy Crab. You can see that gradient, it turns into green in the middle as it makes the switch. On the outsides though, we have the sweet blue and yellow. So my friends, those are the simple steps for doing mixing on a GE Tech A10M after you switch to Bug Fix Marlin. Lastly, I want to send a shout out to Ace Lane. Thank you very much for asking about mixing. It is a super cool thing and it's one of my favorite parts about the GE Tech A10 series printers. And it's really cool when you guys give me topics that I can share with you. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.